Uh, 21 kind of threw up on my house here. We got the 21s over here. And we got the happy birthday. And then we have the banner. It says happy birthday. And then we have the beautiful extra basic 21st birthday balloons. And we have music. Happy birthday, happy birthday to I look like I'm 12, but that's cool. <laughs> 12. It's just 12. Hey guys, you guys, I'm so happy. So, like, literally, I'm starting the vlog in the exact same place I was. But this is actually April 9th. But I just got a DM from Jill and JC. And they're sending me something for my birthday. They're sending me a hat. Um... And they're sending me something for my birthday. And I just love them so much. And I just can't wait to see what she's been working on. Because she's been in California a lot. I mean, they live in California, but she's been in L.A. a lot. Um, and she had a meeting with very important people. And I'm just very proud of her. And I'm very excited. Yay! I love them. I'm 21 today, um, but I'm awake at 4.30 because of chronic pain, so that's fun. I mean, it is what it is. Like, I really can't control it, so I just gotta face the reality, but, um, I mean... It's always there, so I just gotta do my best to try to get comfortable. Because I can't take more meds for another couple hours, so I just gotta wait till I can. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm more human. I just wanted to show you that even on your birthday, chronic illness doesn't take off. Uh, 21 kind of threw up on my house here. We got the 21s over here. And we got the happy birthday. And then we have the banner. It says happy birthday. And then we have the beautiful extra basic 21st birthday balloons. And we have music. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I look like I'm 12, but that's cool. <laughs> 12. It's just 12. It's funny. You guys, I'm so distracted by this phone today. But, you know, I mean, only time of year my... Social media gets blown up. I only have 99, I only have 90 steps, um, today, um, right now. So I'm going to get my arm workout in while I'm talking to you guys. Um, and it's snowing on my birthday. I will show you snow in a minute, but it's snowing. Um, and, uh, this birthday's been interesting. Um, you saw the clip of earlier and then my mom was like oh I feel guilty for leaving you and I was like oh no I'm, I'm okay because I was on I was alone last year and the year before and she was like well you don't have to make me feel that effing guilty and I'm like I'm not making you feel anything you're feeling it by yourself like I'm totally fine just sitting here napping I told um Cassidy she was like, oh, what's on the plan, blah, 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 like, what are we doing, you know, what we, what's going on, and I said, I'm going to TGI Fridays later, but I need to sleep first, and, she, and I said, and she goes, oh, LOL, and I said, yeah, so much fun being parentheses older, and, uh, she was like, yeah, ha, ha, but, you know, I mean, it doesn't really feel any different, it is what, I mean, it is what it is, it's just another year, 
and you know everybody's asking me what my favorite gift is and like you know yeah you can drink now and yeah you can gamble now don't get me wrong i'm excited to go to the uh, casino maybe and just throw like twenty dollars in the slot machine if i can afford it but um literally the only thing i want is my dog i want april to be over i want may to come because we have an agreement that i would get it by may 1st with me and my mom and i just i, I want that to happen and i'm tired of anticipating it i mean i bought four things this morning for the dog and my mom was like you better stop because your card's gonna get declined and i said no i said i need all of this stuff and i want it before the dog comes i bought three no two pet beds one for the crate and like one for just the dog to chill out and then if he doesn't end up using a crate which i don't know because crates are very important you need to make sure they have a safe space to go that nobody can bother them and i mean especially at least for the first couple weeks i would want to use one only because i don't know how my dogs are going to react i mean i think sully is going to be so excited to be able to play with this dog when it has off duty time because Sully just wants to play and play and play and play and play with everyone and Maddie just doesn't give him the time of day. And I'm excited for my dog to maybe maybe give him some of the attention that he wants that we can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm talking about you, some of that puppy attention, yeah. Um, so that'll be nice. I, I just, I want, I want the dog. And my mom was like, you seem so miserable lately. And I'm just like, no, I'm not trying to be. But A, my life isn't easy. And B, all I want to do is, a all I want is a dog. And there seems to be like roadblocks in my way every, hi, Punchkin. Are you going to give me birthday snuggles? Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, Punchkin. Um... I mean, there seems to be, like, oh, my God, you hit me in my neck. <sighs> Ow. I mean, there seems to be, like, obstacles, like, everywhere I go. First, like, you know, breeder, and then I wanted to do the program, you know, I just all the, my whole story, all of that, you know. It's just one thing after another, and then this supply is coming, and she's pissed about this and that and blah, 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 but, like, I'd rather pay for it now than have to keep buying it every week later. Like, my my goal is the only thing that I have to buy weekly, other than treats, depending on how many we go through, is food. And that's my only goal. I don't want to have to buy, like, toys or anything. You know what I mean? I want to, like, have a couple of toys that we can use for a while, you know? Right? Right? Yeah. Like the ball, you don't like balls. You don't like to play with tennis balls, no. I mean, and if the dog can't use it, then I'll either sell it or I'll donate it to somebody who can. And it'll all be fine. I mean, you know, and if I do sell it, I'll sell it at a price that people with very little money can afford because I know what it's like to be wanting to take that next step for your health you know service dog supplies and the dog itself and i know what it's like not to have a lot of money and then i also know what it's like to have some family members not want to be in on the whole thing and um i know what that's like and so i'm not gonna make it harder for somebody else to get a planet dog ball if my dog doesn't use it you know what i mean um so I don't know. My greatest gift is going to be my pooch when I get my pooch. My dog, you know? Oh, also, can we talk about this PetSmart grooming tragedy? Like, four dogs have died being groomed at PetSmart. Oh, no, I'm going to groom my dog myself. Thank you very much. Anyway, yeah, so happy birthday to me. No, look. Wow. My birthday. Yeah. This 
So last year on my birthday, it was 70 degrees and warm and sunny, and I took my 20th birthday picture outside, but today I had to take it inside because I would have had to been dodging active snowflakes. If I hold it like this, you guys can see. Crazy. Watch when I go to bring the puppy home in May, it's gonna be still snowing. Oops. Happy birthday to me. I am 21. Happy birthday to anybody else's birthday who's in April. I know a bunch of people are in April. So happy birthday, y'all. April babies are the best. So, um, I was just sitting here eating, um, Pita chips and thinking about life. And <clears throat> I remember when I was like um, 16 and I, I, um, and I like imagined my 21st birthday. I was like, oh my God, oops, what did I just, ugh. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have the best party ever because, um, at that time, um, my super sweet 16 was on, and, uh, I, oh, 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 my puppy's called, I'm coming, so, I'm coming, baby, I'm a-coming, I'm a-coming, I'm coming, wow, it's still snowing so much outside, goodness, I'm a-coming, so. birthday um when I was like 16 and I would say oh I'm gonna have the best party ever because um my super sweet 16 was on at that point and then I saw somebody do like a 21st birthday on that show and I was like oh my god I should totally do that and uh that show was on MTV back in the day it's not on anymore but or if it is it's not relevant anymore um <clears throat> And then I remember when I was like 19, I was like, oh my God, yeah, two more years. Like, you know, maybe not so much drinking, but you know, going to the casino. And you know, I mean, yeah, I joke about going to a drink and whatever, but literally I'm not drinking. Like I'm not doing it. Like it's not, it's not fun to me. And especially like with all my medical issues I've been having lately, not even just every day, but just lately. Like I don't want to put myself into a situation where I'm going to need help. And then tomorrow, my kitchen is getting redone, starting to, so I'm gonna be alone. Um, but, I mean, the contractor will be here, I know them. <coughs> but I don't wanna be too hungover because, you know, nobody's gonna be there to uh, pass me a bucket or anything, you know? And uh, even like 20, when I was like dreaming of a service dog. I was like, oh, service dog, service dog. But now I really see over the last year of doing like research, I really see how this dog could positively impact my life. And you know, yeah, there's some negatives to getting a dog. Like, you know, you have to train it and you have to tell people no quite often. Um, <clears throat> and stuff like that for wanting to pet it and distractions and stuff like that. And you have to learn to stick up for yourself. And I don't think I'm going to be very good at that the first couple times, but you know, we just got to go with the flow. And, you know, I, it's kind of sad that my mental health has gone the way it has. Um, because this last year has been super tough. Um, really tough. Um, my grandma getting sicker, me getting more sick, um, mentally and just not a good time. And I just, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it's definitely been a year of testing me kind of thing and seeing how much I can do and like how much I can take. And I talked about that a little bit in my video. 
And it's definitely been, hey, we're going to make you have, like, a million and four less friends. And, I mean, even now, like, I get one to two texts from a friend, like, now, like, today. Like, today I'm getting more texts, obviously, but these people aren't my real friends, you know what I mean? They're just, like, once a year, like, hey, happy birthday, thanks, you know? And I have this one friend from Tennessee who I doubt I'm going to hear from today, but we'll see. Um, it's just, it's... It's different. Like, I, priorities are different. And this year, my only wish, besides the dog, is I want to be genuinely 100%, no fake smile, no fake personality. I want to be happy. And I want to be happy because I think I deserve to be happy. And, you know, I mean... 21 years old, I don't think people should be dealing with, like, super severe depression. Like, I mean, I think stuff happens, but I don't think we should be having to, um, deal with such heavy things. I think, you know, I think of me and a lot of my friends who've been, stop, I think me and a lot of my friends who've been dealt pretty crappy cards in a card game, um, I think... We're doing the best we can to, um, I think we're doing the best we can to play the hand we've been dealt. Um, I mean, it's not easy, and sometimes people say, oh, get it together, blah, 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 like, you know, whatever, or like, it could be worse, and absolutely it could be worse, hundred times worse. I tell people all the time that it could be worse, but at the same time, it's like a fine line because nobody should ever invalidate you because of what you're going through. And, um, you know, this year I learned that, you know, I kind of have to be strong on my own because friends will come and go. People who I think are my friends are not my friends. You know, friends come in the least, most random, unexpected places. Um, I met a friend this year. My best friend, a very, very best friend, best friend, best friend, like ride or die type of person, um, who is 20 minutes away from me, but I didn't know her until one of my videos kind of like blew up and I got like 190 something views and it came into her recommended um, and she lives 20 minutes away from me. Like, how does that happen? Like, that doesn't happen unless you need it to happen. You know what I mean? And, you know... God works in mysterious ways, and definitely this year I was <clears throat> definitely tested with my grandmother being sick and myself not doing so hot, and I had a lot of impulses, like I made like some stupid decisions, like I went to go, get, I went to go sign up to get a tattoo, and like I didn't even end up going, and like it just, I, you know, it was definitely very impulsive. Um, that's something I'm going to work on this year because I think my OCD and, like, my need to, like, get it done now really is a problem for me because just, what is the matter? You want these pita chips that fell? I think my impulsivity really is a problem for me because I want it now. And I'm not going to stop it until I get it. And even with all the research that I've been doing with the dog, I feel, like, very just, like, antsy and angry and, like, ready to go get it now. But it's not ready now. You know what I mean? Like, it's not time yet. And that's what I just keep to need to tell myself because, you know, I see all these new teams um, starting out and I see all these pictures of these beautiful dogs and their beautiful training and all that stuff. And it's just, like... I want it to be my turn, but you know what? It will be when the time is right. And my body just has to deal with that and stop being annoying and just let things happen, you know? Just go with the flow. That's my motto for this year, go with the flow. Because, I mean, what else can I do? Yeah, can I be depressed that I see 10,000 service dog teams and, you know, all these pictures and wonderful training? Absolutely, but I'm not going to choose to do that. No, because I could choose to be sad about the fact that I wanted 
the dog for my twenty um on my twentieth birthday video. I could be sad that, that the fact that I don't have my dog yet for my twenty first birthday, or I can just embrace the reality that when the time is right, God and the dog itself will walk into my life, and it'll be when it's meant to be. You know what I mean? I can't rush this. Like I don't want perfection, but I don't want like failure either I want like the perfect balance in the middle you know what I mean and I need to just breathe and I need to just be at peace with the fact that I don't have control over everything and just because my OCD brain wants it to happen does not mean it's going to happen right at that moment so yeah but with that being said I'm going to just chill for the day and then I will catch you guys up when we do more fun stuff um do you guys ever find yourself, like, reflecting on, like, the past year, whether it's your birthday or, like, a holiday or, like, the new year or, like, whatever, you know what I mean? Do you ever find yourself reflecting? Sully, do you reflect? Do you reflect on your life? You're just a cute pup pup, huh? Yeah, waggy tail, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for always listening to me, and I'll talk to you later. Um, so a little update. <laughs> I just love how people, like, come out of the woodwork on your birthday. It's just, it's crazy. It's like, oh, happy birthday. I love you. You're such a fighter. Like, um, yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> really? You've been seeing my posts, but you haven't been texting. I don't know. I did hear from my friend in Tennessee. That was good. We're talking about how she refuses to believe I'm 21 because I met her when I was 15 and she was 16 and she's going to be 22 in July and I'm 21. So we're getting old, but it is what it is.